Good morning world and welcome back to Accelerate. Today we are back with the Peugeot 107, lovingly nicknamed Yoda, to give you another video that was actually highly requested by you guys on the Owners Club. The previous video I did with the Peugeot 107 regarding the steering wheel cover uh, seemed to go down really well with you guys and really helped some of you out and you agreed that it does transform the feel of the drive. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the bar below, uh, above. So today, what I've got in store for you is another cheap mod that will transform the way the car feels when you're driving, particularly on long journeys, and that is the armrest. Now, this is a universal armrest I got off of eBay and actually paid less than £10. So this is another great sub £10 mod for your city bug that will honestly transform the way it feels. As you can see, I've actually got it installed at the moment, but since you guys requested it so much, what I'm actually going to do is remove it, show you how I attached it to the existing part that's already there on the city bugs, fitting wise and putting it back in. So let's get into it. So this is the armrest, and this is the original piece that comes with the 107 that attaches between the seats. So basically, the armrest comes with these brackets just here. Uh, it does come with fixings as well. You may need to get a few self-tapping screws, which is what I've done. Now, it's by no means a professional look, as you can see from the screws there, but you don't actually see these bits when it's installed. Really doesn't bother me. As I said, well worth the sacrifice to get the feel of the armrest. But uh, for perfectionists, again, this may not be the one for you. You can adjust it, the height there, and then just basically self-tap into the plastic part that sits between the seats and like I said very adjustable you can adjust the height you can adjust the top so it's as simple as that and then you just simply bolt it back in now again what I did to make it a bit more sturdy than standard is we actually self tapped some screws into the bottom just so the armrest can take a bit more weight uh, when you're throwing your arms on it and so forth so let's get it back in and I'll try and show you what I've done So as I said, it does, even with the armrest, fits snug between the two seats. And then what I've actually done is the two self-tapping screws, one there and then one the back there to hold it sturdy. And it's as simple as that. So now that the armrest is on, there's one thing to note that does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, with the distance between the armrest and the gear knob itself, uh, going from sort of first to second does give you a bit more limited space. It's by all means doable, just one of those things that takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but it's still way more comfortable to change um, with the armrest. Another great feature about this armrest in particular is the top is actually adjustable. So again, depending on your height or your comfort on long journeys makes it so much nicer. I've also had a few questions on the pillow on my door card, uh, basically to rest your elbow, because I'm sure as many of you know, it does get uncomfortable on long journeys, uh, going resting your elbow against a hard plastic. This was actually a, a bicycle seat cushion that I found in my shed that I sort of hacked up and made to fit the contours of the door card. I do have a few ideas to make this look a lot better not using a bicycle seat. So I will keep you updated on that as well. This is also another little mod that I wouldn't be without in my city bug, which is a Bluetooth adapter to play music from your phone via Bluetooth through your stereo. It also takes phone calls as well, um, simply plugs into the cigarette lighter through the AUX into your CD player, so allows you to have Bluetooth without changing the entire CD player. 
And finally, another topic I often see on the owners club is sound systems and how to easily improve the sound system on these cars. Now on mine, it literally just came with the two speakers in the dash, um, which are not great in themselves. So after upgrading those, I still wanted a little bit more. So what I've actually done is installed two six by nine speakers into the rear shelf. So for anyone wondering, they do fit and they do fit quite comfortably. And the beauty is you can wire them directly into the back of the CD player via the ISO port. There are two empty slots there. So if anyone would like to, I can always do an in-depth video of that as well. But again, having that sound coming from behind you as well as in front of you makes the experience 10 times better. So I 100% recommend putting rear speakers in these cars as well. So there we have it. Armrest is installed. Cheap mod, very easy to do, very effective. Uh, probably my favorite mod that I've done to the car. That'll do it for today. Uh, drop us a like if you can, please. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And like I said, if there's any other videos you want to see on the 107, just let us know in the comments below. And we will see you in the next one.